Michelle. I'm the Children's Library, the Sheridan County Public Library System, and here's another great book I want to share with you. A Porcupine Named Fluffy by Helen Lester and illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. A por a por I okay, there's got to be a good story on this one. Here we go. When Mr. and Mrs. Porcupine had their first child, they were delightful, but now he needed a name. Oh, this is very important. Should they call him Spike? No, Spike was too common. Should they call him Lance? No, Lance sounded too fierce. Should they call him Needle Rouser? No, Needle Rouser was too long. Prickles, Pokey, Quillen, then they had a, an idea together. We'll call him Fluffy. It's such a pretty name, Fluffy. Uh-oh. But soon there came a time when Fluffy began to doubt whether he was Fluffy. He first became suspicious when he backed in the door and stuck fast. That's not a fluffy thing to do. He was even more convinced when he accidentally slept on his back and poked holes in the mattress. A very unfluffy thing to do. He tried to carry an umbrella and he knew the truth without a doubt. Fluffy definitely wasn't. So he decided to become fluffier. Clouds are fluffy, he thought, I'll be a cloud. But he couldn't stay up. You know, pillows are fluffy. He said, I'll be a pillow. But when his mom sat on him, she was not pleased. He tried soaking in a bathtub for 45 minutes, but he didn't become fluffy. He became soggy. He tried whipped cream. He put a little on each quilt. It was easy and it took more than half a day. That didn't make fluffy fluffy. We should call me gooey, he said. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. He ate a lot of fluffy marshmallows. Ooh, that would be good. He rolled in shaving cream and feathers. He even tried to become a bunny. But the truth remained, Fluffy wasn't. One afternoon, Fluffy set out for a walk, trying to think of ways to become Fluffy. Before long, he met a very large rhinoceros. Rrr, said rhinoceros, I'm going to give you a rough time. Fluffy didn't know what a rough time was, and he didn't like the sound of it at all. What's your name, small prickly thing, said the rhinoceros unkindly. Fluffy, said Fluffy. The rhinoceros smiled, he giggled, he laughed out loud, he rolled on the ground, he jiggled and slapped his knees, he roared with that. A porcupine named Fluffy, he said. Fluffy was embarrassed, but tried to be polite. And what is your name, he inquired. I can't say it, said the, giggled the rhinoceros. Hoover, suggested Fluffy. <laughs> oh, well, I can't say. I'm laughing so hard, said Rhinoceros. Harold, maybe Herman, asked the Fluffy. No, no, Rhinoceros, it, it, it's, it's Hippo. Hippo, a Rhinoceros named Hippo. Fluffy smiled, he giggled, he laughed out loud, he jiggled, he slapped his knees, he laughed. A Rhinoceros named Hippo, Fluffy cried. A porcupine named Fluffy, a rhinoceros named Hippo. It was almost more than they could bear. Hippo and Fluffy rolled on the ground, giggling and laughing till tears came to their eyes. At last they lay exhausted on the ground, and for the first time, they were best of friends. And Fluffy didn't mind being Fluffy anymore, even though he wasn't. And that's the story of a porcupine named Fluffy. I'm so glad you joined me. You brightened my day. I'll see you next time. Bye.